Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of my um, sheet mask that I use during the months of March and April. So these are um, just the sheet mask. I won't be covering any of the um, rinse off or peel off masks that I've used um, during the months. But anyway, so got quite a few. And so let's get started. So first of all, I have from Tosa Wong. A um, honey sheet mask. I had two of these. This is the pure propolis mask and um, I do like these. Um, they are definitely moisturizing. They fit well and they had enough essence in the package to make sure that the sheet itself was drenched and there was enough essence left in here to um, use after the mask and all over my body. If you don't know, I like to put it all over my chest and my arms, legs, anywhere that I have extra essence for, I will put it on there. Then I have a couple of these masks and these I am pretty sure, yes, that I got these from Sephora and it's the Primary Raw uh, Two-Step Face Therapy, do you? Anyway, what it is is in this part right here is a little Q-tip and this has the AHA um, milk peel cotton ball is what it is. Anyway, it has the AHA essence in it. So you take this, open it up, and then you rub this all over your face and get all the essence out of there. You will feel some tingling. And then you put the sheet mask itself on top of that in that kind of... Um, acts as a neutralizer and then you put that on there and it's just really good. It helps to um, exfoliate the skin and just have brighter looking skin. And again, that was the primary raw from Sephora. I had two of those that I used. Then I have another one from Dr. Jart and this is the brightening solution. This is the ultra fine microfiber sheet mask. This was definitely very moisturizing. I would definitely think about purchasing some of these. I need to really, I need to get my sheet mask collection to about half before I order any more sheet masks, but I did like that. So if you're looking for one that helps uh, for um, moisturization, this is a really good one. Actually, um, there was another Dr. Jart one that I used that I really did like. The um, Ceramidin was a re another really good one from Dr. Jart. Then I have from Tony Moly. This is the I'm Real Rose Max Mask Sheet, and this is in the Vitalizing. Tony Moly is a really good brand. You can get this at Ulta, so it's very um, easily, readily available, so you don't have to worry about ordering from a website that you're not for sure about. Um, definitely a good, good line of sheet mask. Saturday Skin, this is another one that is really good. Um, used to get, be able to get this at Sephora. Um, Soko Glam, I think it's Soko Glam, no, it's Peach and Lily, carries the Saturday Skin, and now um, Ulta carries, does Ulta carry Saturday Skin? No, no, I'm confused. Sephora is the one that started, no? Yeah, Sephora, Sephora carries Saturday Skin. I'm getting myself all confused, but anyway, so, a very good brand, it is a Korean skincare brand. Um, very good, I really do like the Saturday Skin line. Then I have this little guy, and this was a three-part mask, meaning that it was a vitamin C mask. It had the vitamin C powder down in this little part here, and then it had the essence here, and then the sheet mask here, and the sheet mask was dry. You opened it up, and you mixed the vitamin C with the essence, mixed it all up, and then you opened it, and then you got it onto your sheet mask. So that way you had a fresh mix of vitamin C. Um, we all know that vitamin C is very unstable, so anytime that you can mix it fresh is better because then it's gonna be more potent and not gonna be ineffective. And I really did like these. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Rojo Kiss. I think I got these from Peach and Lily, I think. I'm not really for sure. Then I had this from Sephora, and it's the Sephora brand. It's the Instant Hydrogel Eye Mask for depuffing and moisture, moisturizing. 
and I saved it. It's just a little patch that looks like this and it goes completely over the eyes. It's a little sticky back here, like a rubbery type um, material that it sticks to the eyes, but when you put it on, it's really nice and cooling and you just put it over like this and lay for about 10, 15 minutes and then take it off. Um, the only thing about it is not reusable, so um, you're only going to get one use out of it. I think they're like $5. I mean, you can get the same effect by putting a, um, a gel pack eye mask in your ice box and keeping that in your ice box and using that every morning to kind of depuff the eyes. But these would be really good for um, traveling. And I wished I would have saved this for when we did just, we just got back from vacation and I really needed some of those because we um stayed up kind of late a lot of nights but anyway the tony moly um i'm real vitalizing in the peach very nice and also i have let's see what do we have here oh i have another um sephora the little eye patch mask then i have from skin food the rose this is the Real Tea Gel Mask. It's skin brightening and anti-wrinkle effects. This was a two-part mask and it was a gel type mask. And it did have a little pieces of um, tea leaves in it, I do believe is what it was. But this was really nice. I got this from Soko Glam as a free gift for making a purchase. Then I have the Alicia Koi Natural Pearl Brightening and Glowing Effects. These are really nice. Pearl is definitely... Um, any type of pearl mask is going to be for brightening and for um, making the skin glow. I have another one that I used. Then I have this one from the same natural skin fit mask sheet from, it's a grapefruit. This was in my um, pink soul box and I liked the smell of this. I had never heard of this brand before and this was actually really nice. I liked that. Then I have from Dream Age, this is the Radiance Facial Mask in Rose by Dr. Dream. Again, a really good sheet mask and a really good brand. Let's see what I think I had. Oh, here's another, here's another Dream Age one that I used. Then I have two of these that I used while we were on vacation, and this is the Jeju Natural Canola Honey Mask for nutrition and for um, tighten skin, it says nu nutrition supply and tighten skin, but this was actually moisturizing. The only thing I didn't like about this was the sheet mask itself was kind of thin. And as I was trying to get it put onto my face, it kind of ripped and kind of stretched out a little bit. So it really didn't fit the face very well, but the essence itself was good. Then I have a Patchology mask, and this is a flash mask. This is a five minute facial sheet mask for illumination, and this was really nice. So if you see these, I got this at TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, not mask. So if you see any of the Patchology sheet mask, those are really a good brand to get. One of my favorite is from Too Cool for School, and this is the Egg Cream Mask, and this is definitely a really good creamy hydrating mask. So if you are suffering some from um, dehydration um, in the face and you need to really help to bring back that hydration and that plump look to your face, this is a good one to get. This one I got from um, Ulta, I think. This is called Win Snow Magic. Um, it was okay. I, I wouldn't repurchase any from that brand. Then I have from Myzon, this is the Enjoy Vital Up Time Whitening Mask, Brighten Your Dull Skin. So this is a good one. These, these that are light for brightening, you would have to use more than just one. Um, yeah, you're gonna see a little bit of a brightening effect after you take it off, but to really maximize the results when you buy a sheet mask, and it's something that you know that you like, get like five of them and do like five nights in a row of that same sheet mask to really help get the, um, the full effect of the essence that are in there and the brightening properties. Biobel, this, came, this came from Ulta. This is the um, 
hashtag primer sheet mask. This prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. This really does work. I really do like these. I need to get some more of these because every time I use one of these as I do all of my skincare for the morning and then I'll put one of these on and I'll leave it on for like 10, 15 minutes and pat in the essence. Then I'll put in, you know, my sunscreen, my primer, and then my makeup. And it seems like every time I use one of these, I always get someone that complicate, compliments my skin on how pretty it is for that day. So that was a good one. And I used that while we were on vacation, which was good because I really needed that one day that I used that. I needed some brightening. <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> You go on vacation to relax and then you try to do so much while you're on vacation that when you come home you're just exhausted. Um, I have from Nature Love a rose petal eye mask. These little eye masks, that was a good one. I'm pretty sure I got these at um, either Marshalls or TJ Mask. Ma Why do I keep wanting it's TJ Mask? It is not TJ Mask, TJ Max. I have one from number seven. The instant revolt results revitalizing this was another good one i think you can get these this brand at target possibly ulta this is the only thing i've ever used from this brand and i really i liked it so this one i'm not too crazy about and this is the um, panda eye essence mask from wish trend i don't recommend these the essence in there stings your eyes so don't get those then from Ellen Tracy, a radiant eye mask that I used. And then I have one from Shiseido, and this is the Wrinkle Resist 24 Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. And I do like these. I, I bought some during the Sephora VIB sale back in November, and then I found some at TJ Maxx. No, not TJ Maxx, at Nordstrom Rack. So look in those places for that that was a good one and then i have the c20 natural vitamin 21.5 enhancing sheet mask and it was okay not one of my favorites so whew. so that is it for all the sheet masks that i used during the months of march and april i hope that you have enjoyed and will do um to subscribe i guess i hate to keep saying this but um YouTube has definitely changed, so if you want to keep seeing my videos, you have to push on that um, bell icon. Either the bell icon, or you have to have some kind of engagement with my video, like either making a comment, or doing a thumbs up, or a thumbs down, whatever the case may be. And then you'll keep seeing my, my, my little face here pop up in your video feeds. If that's what you want, you may not want that. <laughs> and if you don't, I understand. So anyway, and my little sign here, spring. Spring's supposed to be here but it's not. It's like cold and rainy today. It has been all week. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but Mother Nature needs to get her shit together and get spring here to stay. Just saying. Anyway, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.